And then the Valentine's Day gift I got myself came in a Chanel bag. Good morning, everybody. How are we all? Welcome back to the vlog. I'm trying something new with my makeup today. I'm doing my contour underneath my foundation. Never done this before. It's looking a bit weird, but... I thought we could do it together. So I've already put like the contour on, a little bit of concealer. Next, I'm going to use two foundations. I'm going to mix them. So this week I actually bought the Dior Forever Glow and I'm going to mix it with, this is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. So I'm going to mix them both together and see how it goes. I actually wrote on my Instagram stories for some foundation recommendations because I am the queen of buying foundations. Like I buy bottles of foundations from all different brands. Like I've got Bobbi Brown. I have... A different NARS one. I've got so many Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. This is still my favourite foundation of all time. I have by Terry. I've also got Charlotte Tilbury. I've got every single foundation going, like, almost. What I do is I buy them and then end up always going back to Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. And at the moment, I'm really trying to achieve that kind of glowier finish to my skin. And I've heard this Dior Forever Glow is meant to be really good for that. Anyway, I feel like I really dived straight into this video, but... I'm in a rush, as always guys, of course I'm in a rush, but I'm meeting a couple of my friends for lunch and I'm actually meeting them in, okay I've got to be there in 25 minutes and it's 15 minutes from my house so we need to be quick. By the way, if you think my lips look blue, I am not cold, I actually had lip filler this week, I know that's a bit of a taboo subject but I'm just going to be honest with you all, I did have lip filler, I only had the tiniest bit put in my lips, I started getting my lips done about well, nearly a year ago actually now and I've only had tiny amounts done each time but I had a little top up but my lips are really bruised and to my nan and mum if you're watching this video I'm sorry about the lip filler although saying that you guys are gonna laugh so much but my nan did she text me or did she say it? I think she said it on the phone she asked me not long ago how much lip filler was because she was thinking about getting it my nan is 87 but she said she felt her lips like need a little bit more plumpness in them shall I take her to get lip filler I feel like it could be great foundation update I mean I like it but it's definitely fuller coverage than I thought it was going to be. I feel like mixing the two is probably a bad idea. I should have just stuck to one. And I feel like the contour that I put on my face beforehand has completely disappeared. Like, where has it gone? Anyway, you're probably wondering what I'm doing today. I'm not doing anything too exciting, but I haven't vlogged all week. Last week, I produced four videos. I don't know what was wrong with me. And this week, I'm struggling to produce one. Something in my life is I'm all or nothing. Today is actually a Saturday, and I'm going to meet my friends, Abby and Amanda. We're going for some breakfast. And I think we're just going to have a little browse around the shops and have an afternoon out together, which will be very nice. Makeup is complete, guys. I don't love it. It doesn't look great in real life. It looks really thick and just, it just looks too heavy. It's meant to be glowy, light, given summer. And it's just not given those things at all. It's actually making me look old because it looks so heavy on my skin. But we haven't got enough time to change it. Okay, I've just ordered a cab. It says he will arrive soon. But this is my outfit. I kid you not, I have worn this bomber jacket. I want to say, like, every day since I got it. And that's not even an exaggeration. I love it so much. And it just goes with everything. I've actually worn this outfit a lot just recently. But I just have on the bomber jacket from Zara. I've obviously got my Chanel brooch on, which I've had for three years. And I've worn it more times in the last three weeks than I have in the last three years. But this is your sign to invest in some sort of like statement brooch because it really kind of adds something to the outfit. My jumper is Arquette. My t-shirt underneath is Arquette. My leggings are Lululemon. My bag is my Chanel 19. And then I think I'm going to wear my New Balance. I don't even know which ones these are, to be honest. I've had them ages, but they just go with the whole grey vibe. But I'll put them on when I'm outside because I watched this thing on TikTok, of course it was on TikTok, about the germs on the bottom of your shoes. I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? We wear them outside, but it's actually freaked me out that I would have ever put my shoes on, on this carpet. Like, what the hell? Anyway, I need to go. Girls both have half an English. Delicious. Well, we've just finished breakfast. I've just left the girls. I always think it's so awkward to film when I'm with my friends, like, and they don't really like being on the vlog and stuff. And obviously, we're just chatting. But anyway, I've just left them. They've gone off to do their things for the day. And um, do you know what? Lunch was actually so nice. And I've ended up booking it for tomorrow for Sunday lunch for my boyfriend and I to go to. So I like to try new places. And the sun has come out today, which is very nice. I am nipping into Zara. There are so many cute dogs around today. Look at this one sprinting up and down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
you guys know I love anything sparkly and look at this bomber jacket <laughs> how incredible is that I actually love it that'd be really nice for a night out this is all very nice colors over here how gorgeous is that I think the belt comes with it as well it's a jumpsuit I think this Zara is so nice by the way look at all of like the underwear section this is really nice. I wanted the beige one, but it's been sold out. But this khaki jacket could look cool. That whole rail is my kind of vibe. Like, look at all the colors. We love this. Got lots of denim. I quite like this denim jacket. I just saw a girl trying it on and she looked really cool. What about these handbags then? Not sure about that. What are we saying? It kind of looks like, you know, like the weights you lift up in the gym, a kettlebell. It looks like a kettlebell. I'm sorry, it actually does. These are so sparkly, these sandals down here as well. I think they'd look lovely on. Imagine on holiday, I really like those. Look how nice the things are in Zara Man. This is like better than Zara Women's. They even have some really good Birkenstock dupes. Look how it's all like color coordinated down here. And this jacket, it's so nice as well. The Zara trip was a success, I have a whole Whole Foods bag <laughs> full of stuff. I'm gonna go to Massimo Duty because it's just around the corner and I really like their stuff. Actually, I can get into it here. And then I'm gonna go home and do a really quick try and haul for you all. It's gonna be very sort of like unprofessional compared to my other hauls, but I'm just gonna just do it in the moment. Look how nice their stuff is. Like I love the styling in here as well. It's so lovely and the quality is really good. The prices are definitely higher than places like H&M and Zara. They do really lovely things. I have literally just walked through the door. I have my bag full of stuff. I actually did a very successful Zara shop. I'm loving all of the new stuff in there at the moment. I went into Massimo Duty very briefly, didn't like anything, walked out empty handed. But I thought I would do a very impromptu and very real life try on haul. I'm not gonna set all the camera up how I usually would. We're just gonna try things on together. I might style some of the stuff up that I got as well. I might go into my dressing room, come out here, show you in the mirror and just see if I like anything that I actually found. I do think I found some all right stuff though. First thing is this khaki jacket. By the way, can you see my roses? Look how beautiful they are. They're kind of dying now a little bit. But this week, this last week was Valentine's. I'm sure all of you know that it was Valentine's, my boyfriend. He always goes all out, you know. He treats me very well. He got me the most gorgeous bouquet of flowers. And then in the morning, he sent me a text message that said like, happy Valentine's day and then like all the timestamps of things we were doing throughout the day. So he'd organize everything. So we went to Scott's for lunch. I don't know why I'm talking about this now, but anyway, we went to Scott's for lunch and then we stayed at the Mayfair. He booked us massages before dinner and then we went for dinner at Hakkasan. Honestly, where did I get this guy from? Sometimes I really do wonder. And he also got me a gift, which I'm gonna unbox with you. And I also got myself a gift which is in this bag here. The gift that I got myself wasn't as big as I would usually get just because I feel like I've been treating myself way too much just recently. I didn't long ago get the 19, which by the way, I have been loving. But I did get myself a little something and now I'm on a ban until my birthday, but we'll see how that goes. I'll unbox that with you and also show you what he got me in a minute. And by the way, I'm sorry if I sound like I'm like boasting about my boyfriend, but guys, I was single for nine years. Nine years I was single. I never received like Valentine's Day flowers until last year. Last year was the first year I ever got Valentine's Day flowers and I was 28. So allow me just to have my moment that I finally met someone that does the most for me on Valentine's Day. Anyway, that was off on a real tangent, but I just needed to show you guys my flowers. Back to the jacket. I'm gonna go to my wardrobe and very quickly put together an outfit, which I think would look cute with it. The amount that I wear these Loewe vest tops is actually laughable but they just go with everything and if i'm gonna spend that amount of money on a vest top you're gonna see me in it more than once i mean i've actually worn this top like i want to say 50 times and i will continue wearing it all through the summer i actually bought the black one not long ago you guys know about that but apparently there's a gray version of this now as well which i feel like i need to get anyway this is how i very quickly styled this jacket up so the jacket is in a size medium. I believe it does come with matching trousers, or you can get them as a separate, obviously. Matching trousers, which I think would look really cool if you wore it as a set. I couldn't find the matching trousers, so at the moment I just have on a pair of straight leg jeans, which are from Naked Fashion. Then, for my shoes, something I actually picked up this week were these. I've been hearing from various people that Jordans and Dunks are kind of done. I feel like Jordans, I mean, 
things come back around again. And Jordans are iconic, so they're never going to be done. But I know what people mean. They went through like a real craze the last few years, and I think the craze is kind of over. But Dunks, for me, are a perfect trainer for every day. And even if people think they're done, I don't think they are. I still think they look really cool. And what else are you going to wear on your feet if you don't wear Dunks? I mean, you could wear New Balance. You could wear loafers, but a good pair of dunks, don't listen to everyone else hating on them, they're great. So I picked up the olive pair because, do you guys remember that in my last Zara haul, which was actually my last video, I got a khaki bomber jacket and I thought these would look cool with them. However, look how perfectly they go with this jacket. I'm sorry, they're perfection. So I'm going to put these on and then I'm thinking my white Chanel classic flap. And I'm going to show you the full look. Okay, I'm sorry about me holding my giant tripod like this, but this is the full outfit in the mirror. Probably showing you in the mirror isn't the best thing to do, but it's just what we're working with. So this is the full look, if I pan you guys down, to the shoes that obviously match the jacket. I mean, this was very quickly thrown together. I think this looks really nice for a really casual daytime outfit. What I'm really trying to do at the moment with my spring wardrobe is put together some really wearable outfits that I would wear out with my friends, to lunch, shopping, outfits I feel comfortable in, not just for Instagram. Does that make sense? I've said this before in some of my hauls, but a lot of the outfits I see and some of the outfits that I even wear on Instagram I don't always wear out in real life. Like, that's just me being absolutely truthful. But at the moment, I'm on a real mission to create wearable everyday outfits. And I feel like this is really nice. So the jacket, by the way, I'm wearing it in a size medium. I would say it fits quite true to size, really. If anything, it's a little bit oversized. And it was £89, so it definitely is on the more pricey side. However, the quality is lovely. And I do think it looks quite expensive. I love the collar on it, and I also love the zip. I'm sorry, but I love how it looks with these dunks. I mean, yeah, very matchy-matchy, but... I feel like it looks quite cool. I'm actually sweating. My top lip is dripping. That's so attractive. Okay, I've actually got loads of bits in here, but I need to be quicker because I am actually going out in a minute. But the next thing I picked up was this V-neck striped jumper. I thought it could look really nice with some gold necklaces. So I'll be back. Outfit number two, I've actually ended up putting on a pair of jeans that I just bought from Zara as well. I can't tell you how much this jumper is because there's not a label in it. But I think I'm going to keep it because it does look quite nice. I need to fake tan because my neck, like my chest and that is not matching my face. So please ignore that because I know that doesn't really look great. I'm just popping on some gold necklaces and then I'm going to show you the outfit in full. I love when a top is v-neck like this, add in something to the neckline. So some necklaces. I probably would take off my Van Cleef necklace because I feel like it's all looking too much and just stick with the chunky chains but let me show you in the mirror okay so the jumper is cream but it's got black stripes which I like I do love navy but I often find it hard to dress navy because I don't have any navy accessories but the fact the stripes are black means it goes with most of my handbags so the necklaces I paired it with are from Monica Vinader I will link everything down below by the way the jumper obviously is from Zara so as I already said this is a size medium I don't know about the price of it but I will link it down below. As you can see, it comes down to just below my bum, I'd say, but I've actually tucked it under. And then the jeans I've got on, guys, I'm really not sure about these. Why is it so hard to find jeans that look good? Like, I don't understand why it's so difficult. So the jeans I just picked up from Zara as well, they look okay when I'm stood like this, but look how they look when I change my position to this. I mean, like, what is going on? They're not doing anything for me. They are actually a really nice fit on the bum, though. I don't know if I can show you guys my booty. But they are a nice fit on the bum. But from the front, like this, terrible. If I pose like this, maybe okay. But overall, they're not, they're not really a vibe. But if you did like them, they are £35. Then for my accessories, I have popped on my Celine Triumph bag, which I love, by the way. This is in the teen size. And then I have on just a pair of Converse. If I switched out the jeans to a pair of jeans that I liked, I feel like this could be a good outfit. I think the jumper is really nice. If anything in the jumper, I wish I had gone a size bigger. I feel like if I'd have got a large, it probably just would look a little bit better oversized. But I feel like it's these jeans, like they're making me look three times the size that I am. What? Like, sorry. And by the way, these are in a size eight, just in case anyone would want to know the size of these jeans. They are a size eight. Okay, next few things I got. I loved this on the hanger. 
So I wonder if I'm going to love it as much on. It's a waistcoat. Okay, next outfit. I feel like the necklaces, they do look quite nice with it, but I feel like maybe it's just too much. I want to go for a more simple look. The waistcoat on, I love it. This is a size small. I would say it is quite oversized. Well, not even quite. It is very oversized. I'm just going to check the price for you all. Okay, it's $59.99. And if I get a little bit up closer, you can see it's like a raw hem finish to it. So if you don't like that kind of look, this isn't for you. It kind of looks like it's unfinished or you've chopped the arms off yourself. I think it looks quite cool, but my mum would probably say to me, Freya, what's wrong with your jacket? Anyway, the top I have in underneath is my second most worn vest top. It is my Loewe vest top in black with the white... Um, anagram on the front. I'm going to show you the outfit in full. I haven't really decided on footwear. I feel like loafers would look quite cool, but then I put them on and they didn't look that cool. So I feel like maybe we're going to do the panda dunks. Okay, so top half of this outfit I think looks really cool. I've got my Chanel mini flap on, which goes really nice with this outfit, although to be honest, this bag goes with every single outfit. And then this is the length that the waistcoat comes down. It is cropped, but only just like it's not too cropped which I like because it kind of like covers you up a little bit more then I'm just not sure about how these jeans and these trainers look with this like I feel like it looks okay and we always want more than okay don't we so the jeans are my naked fashion jeans which you've already seen me wear and I have worn these 150 times I would love to find another pair of jeans like these these are almost perfect they're a little bit too long and I don't love necessarily how they fit around my waist but they are the best jeans I've ever found at the same time I just can never find the perfect pair of jeans I feel like what I should do is just get some jeans that I like and go and get them altered I feel like that's the only way I'm ever gonna get perfect jeans unless any of you have found a company that sell good jeans let me know anyway if I pan down this is the full outfit I mean what do we think do we like it I feel like it's very simple I feel like it does work but yeah, I just, I'm just not sure about the trainers with the jacket. I don't know if anyone else feels like this, but shoes for me ruin every single outfit because I just feel like I never know what shoes to put with what, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like heels look nice with a lot of stuff, but do I want to wear heels out in the daytime? Absolutely not. I will only wear heels when I really have to wear them because let's face it, they're not comfortable. They make your legs look great and just make me look taller and all the rest of it, but they're just, they're just not comfortable. So I am always in a pair of trainers, but sometimes I don't know what color shoes or what shoes to wear with an outfit. But anyway, this is the last few pieces that I picked up. So first up, the jumper. For me, this is the perfect amount of crop on a jumper. It's just the right length. It finishes in a place where I can kind of cover my stomach, but it still looks cool. Yeah, I'm wearing it in a size medium. And it was $29.99, but guys, it feels so, so lovely and soft. Like, it's really, really lovely quality. Then I have on these cargos, which I'm wearing in a size 10, so 38, and they were $29.99, which is really good value for money, I'd say, for these trousers. I actually really love how all of these colours go so nicely together. Like, some really nice neutrals. I didn't think the top was really going to match the trousers, but... I kind of think it does. Anyway, so this is the outfit in the mirror. And then if I pan down, you'll be able to see the trousers are really quite long and they're also quite baggy around my waist as well. I think if you're in between sizes, I would definitely recommend sizing down in these. I think I'm gonna return them and get a size eight instead. And I also think I'm gonna have to get the bottoms turned up, but I really love the color. They're also a really nice lightweight material, which I like because they'll be nice and cool in spring. And then if I pan down again, I will show you my shoes. And I feel like these are my issue. Do these go? These are my Chloe trainers, the lace ones. I just feel like they're a little bit girly for the look. Then looking at them like this in the mirror, I feel like this looks okay. I'm unsure. This is just when I struggle so much with shoes. Like I never know what shoes to put on, even though I do own quite a few pairs of shoes. I feel like my favorite things from the haul, you guys will have to let me know what your favorite things are, but I feel like my favorite things were the khaki zip jacket, the first thing, and maybe this jumper. I really, really like this little crop jumper. I think I'm gonna end up wearing this a lot. Anyway, I did say I have a few other things to show you guys. I am, as always, in a rush. I need to go out, but I do have a little bit of time. So let's do the quickest unboxing and show and tell of Valentine's gifts. 
of all time. Okay, super quick haul. Here we go. By the way, I feel like we're all used to the fact there's a clothing row in my living room by now, aren't we? It's such an eyesore, but it is what it is. Anyway, what I got for Valentine's Day. I'm not showing off. Just need to do this quick disclaimer. I just know you guys love luxury things as much as I do. So I just wanted to share with you because I feel extremely lucky and I have a very, very thoughtful boyfriend. So... He got me something from Louis Vuitton. He may or may not, he definitely did, watch my wish list video of 2023. Girls, guys out there, make a wish list video because suddenly everyone knows what you want. I mean, there's a very slim chance that I'm gonna get bought many things from that wish list. I mean, there was Birkins, diamonds, and very expensive things on there. However, something on the wish list was bought because he watched the video and then it gave him an idea to buy me something for Valentine's. Hopefully he gets me the Birkin for my birthday. I am joking. Anyway, inside here were two different boxes which looked like this. I actually had no idea he was getting me anything. So it was a really, really lovely surprise. And then the boxes are empty because I obviously have already unboxed it. But he got me the Louis Vuitton agenda, diary, whatever you'd like to call it. And so I believe this comes in three different sizes. They do one that is smaller than this. This is the medium size. And then they do one that is bigger. I do think the bigger one would be good for writing like loads of stuff in there. But realistically, am I going to carry that around? Absolutely not. Like it's huge. For me, this is the perfect size. So he got exactly the right size I wanted. I mean, look how beautiful it is. It's like a work of art. It's got all the Louis Vuitton monogram all over it, as you guys can see. And then as you open it up, it looks like this inside. I haven't written a single thing in there yet, guys. It feels scared to use it. And then inside is the agenda, which is so, so beautiful. I know I've just shown you, but if I show you it again, it's so pretty. However, when you buy this, can you believe it doesn't come with the agenda inside? The good thing about it is you can change the paperwork in here every year. So obviously you can have this agenda for years and years, or well forever if you keep it in good condition, because obviously the ring binder opens up like that and you can take out the paperwork. But when he bought it, the agenda, like the paperwork inside, was all out of stock. And it's apparently been out of stock since the beginning of the year. Obviously, everyone wants their fresh 2023 agendas. And he was thinking, I can't give her the cover without the inside. So he jumped through many hoops, went to different Louis Vuitton stores. And I think it ended up coming from Heathrow. But even him telling me the story, like... The effort put into getting this just makes it even better. But if I flick through it, I look at all of the drawings as I go through some of the pages. And then each page you've got like writing space on every day. So that is what my boyfriend got me. And to be honest, it was way too much. And then the Valentine's Day gift I got myself came in a Chanel bag. This is kind of sad, but I just, every single year when I was single, I always bought myself a gift because no one else bought me gifts. You know what I mean? So I always bought myself a gift and I thought, you know what? I'm not just gonna stop just cause I'm now in a relationship. I'm gonna treat myself and continue to treat myself every Valentine's Day. This year, I didn't wanna go anything too extravagant. On other years I've bought jewelry, I've bought, like I've spent quite a lot of money. This year, I didn't feel like I deserved it. I'd not long bought a handbag. So there was no way I was spending thousands. However, I wanted to spend even less than these were, but here we are. So, a Chanel box. Inside of the box is oh, a load of paperwork. And I think that's a cleaning cloth. You guys probably know by this case, what do you think these are? So they are a pair of Chanel sunglasses. Look how gorgeous the quilting is on the sunglasses case. Now I know I often say this whenever I've bought something, I can be like, oh, I saw a girl wearing this or I saw a girl doing this. And it sounds like I copy everyone. But guys, back in the day, I used to read magazines and that's where I used to get my inspo from. Nowadays, I go on social media, I go on TikTok, I go on Instagram, I go on YouTube. I also go out in London and I see people with things on and I think, wow, she looks great or he looks great. And then I go on to either add it to my wish list or purchase it and then of course I style these things up in my own way now I saw a girl on TikTok with these sunglasses and she sold them to me I just couldn't get them out of my head after seeing that video and I went and picked them up and I'm going to show you guys how cool they are they've actually got a little tag on them saying they can't be returned so I'm actually just going to pull that off because well, they can't be returned anyway, can they? And I don't want to return them because they are so nice. So if I just show you the side, they've just got a really tiny Chanel CC on them just there. Hopefully you can see that. Really understated branding. And then if you pop them on, so this is them from the side. And then if I turn to the front and I look down and I get a little bit closer, guys, can you see what's written across the top? It's Chanel. I mean, how cool is that? I just think they're just such a timeless shape and like a really understated probably not that understated but slightly understated bit of brand in there 
I love them. I think they're perfect. So those were my Valentine's Day gifts, which I'm very, very grateful for. Obviously, one gift from myself and one gift from my boyfriend. But anyway, I need to go out. I'm actually meeting my boyfriend and we're going for some early dinner. Good morning, everyone. Even though it is not good morning, we're actually on the way to Sunday lunch. I left you yesterday. All we did was we went for dinner. We went to Sticks and Sushi, which we go there all of the time, but it's always nice. It's so easy. Um, but yeah, there was nothing to show. There was nothing to vlog. But anyway, we're going back to the restaurant that I ate at with the girls yesterday. I said to you yesterday that I had um, booked it today for Sunday lunch. So hopefully it will be nice. They don't do a veggie option though. So we're gonna have to have chicken or extra kind of trimmings. I feel like my camera is about to fall. Are you guys about to fall? I don't know where this weekend's gone. I feel like all we've done is eaten out, even though we were actually said to each other, didn't we, that we were gonna stop eating out? True. We said we were gonna stop eating out because we just eat out so often. But in life sometimes, if you don't go out drinking, right, and you don't go out partying, what else is there to do with your weekends if you don't eat food? I'm asking like that as a question because if any of you have any ideas, I mean, we could do things like escape rooms, or we could, we, do, we have gone bowling a few times. Tom, I suggest that you shot me down. No, but you love bowling, like, and you're I really good at it. I don't love bowling, but I'm not really good. <laughs> you are good, you are good. Like you say, you're good at everything. <laughs> um, yeah, I do like doing, oh, I don't know. We did go to the cinema and that was really good and we did see about going to the cinema last night, but there's no, there's no good films on. So I just feel like if we don't go out to eat, we just end up sitting in the flat, which is, it's, it's nice, but we do that every day. Anyway, I'm hoping lunch is gonna be lovely because I am starving and breakfast here was nice, so fingers crossed for that. The weather today is glorious as well. Look at those blue skies, stunning. I feel like when the weather's nice, it just makes everything better. And also, I mean, you can't see them here, but flowers are starting to bloom as well. Spring is well on the way. We're both gonna have the chicken and then we're gonna get the honey grazed carrots and the truffle um, cauliflower cheese, which sounds unreal. Our food has arrived. So we've both gone for the chicken. The gravy's a bit all over the show though. We've got carrots, cauliflower cheese, a bread sauce, Chicken, greens, roast potatoes, it looks delicious. Good evening everyone. I left you at the roast dinner, but our roast was, what would you rate the roast actually? I'm going with a nine. A nine? <laughs> would you? Yeah. Okay, I say this every time I ask him and I'm like, would you? But it was actually really, really, really nice. The cauliflower cheese was delicious. Mm -hmm. The only thing I said, I feel like I'm so critical. No, it was genuinely, it was the best roast we've had in months like we go for roast most um sundays as well it was really so good the only thing i'd say was the roast potatoes weren't that crunchy you said they were crunchy though yeah mine were fine yeah mine were just not that crunchy but we did go at 3 p.m so i feel like we're gonna go back maybe in a couple of weekends but we're gonna go back at like midday because sometimes with roast as the day goes on the potatoes aren't as crunchy because obviously they get cooked earlier in the day but overall hunter's moon in chelsea would definitely recommend for a roast dinner. Anyway, I've just finished editing this vlog. I don't know if it's gonna be up in time for this evening. I'm hoping it will be if YouTube isn't slow, fingers crossed. Um, as always guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I hope this next week I will get more videos out than I have this last week. I've been a bit rubbish, but I'm gonna get back on track. And also, I don't know if any of you have got this like close to the end of the video, if you have, thank you for watching the whole video. But if you are still here, please write down below for any video requests you guys have. I always like asking you what you guys want to see. Nine times out of 10, you all just say you want vlogs. But if there's a particular review video or I don't know, any sort of video you want, write it down below and I will try and get it done in the next few weeks. Anyway, as always guys, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Lots of love and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>